sex. Hello! It's been a while since I've done a favorites video. To be honest, I love them, but no one watches them, so then I'm like, I shouldn't do these anymore. But you know what? This year, 2018, is the year of doing things that I just want to do. I just want to, okay? It's my channel, my life. You don't know me, maybe you do, I don't know, hi mom. And if the YouTube algorithm wants to bury my videos because I can't think of a clickbait title, nor do I want to, sometimes I want to, but I can't, I'm really bad at it, and I don't want to, suck it, algorithm. Also make sure you tune in till the end of the video because I'm doing a giveaway and I want you to know about it. Please don't skip ahead till the end, that's rude. Let's just jump into it. Here's a taste of all the things that I've been digging so far this year. Please watch the video. <laughs> Let's start with skincare. You know what's not my favorite thing? Acne, which I haven't had since high school, but it's back. Hi. I mentioned this on my Insta stories, and a lot of people speculated that it was because I got off the birth control pill, which I'm not ruling out. It could be whenever you mess around with hormones, things like that do happen. However, I've been off it for almost four months now, and this is the only month that I have dealt with weird acne problems. Not that acne is weird. If you have acne, it's not weird of you to have it. It's just weird for me because I haven't had it in a very long time, like over a decade. So I thought it might be that. But then so a lot of my LA friends who also never break out um, were experiencing the same thing. So I thought maybe it was because it's been unusually cold outside and dry. But mostly I want to emphasize cold. It's been cold, like 50 degrees. You know what? That's very cold for us in LA. We have very fragile, very baby skin. Stop being cold. Global warming. Hello. Where are you? Where did you go? You had one job. Well, like global colding. Roasted. Anyway, um, so because it's been so cold and dry, I got this rose facial oil. I've been putting this underneath my moisturizer and it's been working. My skin does feel excessively oily after I put it on. But then after putting makeup on, it just looks normal instead of like a crusty sweet potato. So I like this. It's a favorite. Whoa. <laughs> that was cool. Every year I feel like I get obsessed with something that's totally unrelated to what I do, just something on the side. One year it was nail art, one year it was jewelry making. This year it's watercolors. I just started a couple weeks ago and I'm obsessed with it. It's very relaxing, it's very creative. It makes me feel stupid, which I love. I bought myself a travel palette and it is, um, really cool. Whoa, excuse me. Then I bought some watercolors and tubes that I put inside the travel palette and I just takes this around and paints on the go like I'm a professional artist that knows what they're doing. These things also attach to the side and become little water cup holders and that's cute. It comes with a little paintbrush in there. What are you, an asshole? I don't know really what I'm doing, but I feel like I like it. And that's what counts. If you're not good at something, at least like what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? It's love and hot. Your favorite. What else? Lately, I've been obsessed with 90s stuff. I've always very much enjoyed the 90s, but lately I think of it's gone like farther than an enjoyment. It's like an obsession. I listen to a 90s playlist every day. By the way, it's 90s crowd pleasing hits on Google Play Music. And it is extremely pleasing to this crowd of one person, very pleased. Initially I started jamming out to the 90s every day because it was getting me out of a depressive funk that I was in. But then I realized that I am probably addicted to it now because I don't want to come back to 2018 where none of us look at each other because we're all obsessed with our phone and that this is the youngest I'll ever be and it's not that young. Anyway, clothes. This has affected my clothing and accessory choices as of late. I'm living in all the decades of my clothes, but mostly the 90s. Like the 90s with a glow up from the 70s in a 2018 way. Great. I like these sunglasses. This scrunchie. This oversized denim jacket that reminds me of Saved by the Bell. I like doing my hair like this. And also this faux fur jacket that I bought for an audition, but then I waited too long to return. So now I'm just rocking it. I'm owning it. I like it. I really actually like it a lot now. Velvet everything. These shirts from Madewell. These pink velvet shoes from Soul Society. This headband from Urban Outfitters. If I could have carnal interactions with these items without fear of judgment or possible negative health consequences from them entering my body. I would. 
these high-rise butterfly jeans from Madewell. I have long legs for my body size and pretty much zero torso. I have like negative torso. It's like maybe two inches long and it's where all my fat likes to party. So I like these jeans that hit my freakishly natural high waistline and also cover any excessive fat that might be stored there. Not that I have any, but it maybe covers it. And it really gives you an idea for how disproportionate my ass leg to torso ratio really is. I'm like an anime character, but thicker. Like T-H-I-C-C, -C, the good one. These bralettes from Urban Outfitters, these are the most comfortable things I've ever adorned on my breasts. They're like the leggings of bras. I never wanna wear anything else on my breasts. I want to burn all of my underwire bras forever, but I won't because arson is a crime. Whatever. And these booties from Soul Society that I wear with everything and thought I would rarely be wearing because I thought it would be too hot to wear them. But guess what? Global warming's on vacay. So I've been, you know, complaining about the weather in these while looking very chic. I feel like I shouldn't even talk about TV shows because I've just been binge watching older shows that like everybody was into years ago. But since everything else in my life feels like it's in the 90s, these shows actually seem very new and relevant. So I've just been binge watching The Office and Rick and Morty and I don't want to watch anything else. Bye. Wait, don't leave, I'm not done. Makeup. What am I wearing? Tarte. Basically everything is Tarte. I'm talking mascara. I'm talking highlighter. Bitches, you're not a bitch, I'm so sorry. Eye palettes. This impulse purchase in line at Sephora. Hey Tarte. Please notice me. I also love this mail organizer that I bought earlier this year. It's supposed to organize mail, but I use it to organize makeup palettes. And I think it's really cute and also efficient for remembering to use my makeup palettes. And lastly, the thing that I was so excited to tell you about at the beginning of the video that I told you to watch the whole video for, and you don't get to watch this part unless you watch the whole video. There's a test at the end, so you better go back and watch it if you didn't. I made a website. It's definitely, definitely one of my favorite things this month. It's Nikki.Limo. It is up, it is live. Some of you found it before I announced it. I don't know how that happened. I didn't put it anywhere, I don't think. I've definitely never talked about it, not to anybody. So, how did you find it? I don't know, but some of you did. Thanks for finding it. Nikki.Limo, it's up now. You can go over there now and go check it out. It's like basically all the stuff I do all in one place. So any updates you ever need, it's all right there. Also, I'm blogging now, that's a thing. I hope to be blogging more. Maybe? You don't know. No one knows. Go subscribe over there so you see if that happens. I also put my acting stuff up there. There's updates on uh, a movie that we did that recently went to festivals and it's rotating at other festivals next month. So check that out. YouTube sketches. Anytime I put up a new sketch, it'll be put up there. And then I'm doing a giveaway. You can sign up for an email list on the website and anybody who signs up for the email list will be entered into a giveaway where you can win some pretty sweet swag. I won't tell you what it is, but I will tell you when you win. Sign for that I won't spam you I promise I don't even know really how to use that function yet it's something that I'll have to figure out when I choose a winner but it's there and it, it's a good way for me to keep you updated when the YouTube notifications don't work the YouTube subscription boxes don't work and the YouTube algorithm doesn't work uh, it's really hard to keep in touch with you when none of those things work so go subscribe over there follow me on Instagram, Twitter, mostly Instagram. I pretty much live on Instagram and YouTube. Those are my two top two. My two top two. That would be four things.